Eddie racing. Oh, imposing knuckled on the inside. And Shivery Ming Dynasty among the first out. Wider out top where. Johnson riding hard on imposing to get up and hold the inside position. Arbor Shane out wide's going up quickly. As they went past the judge the first time, imposing had got to the front from Arbor Shane, Caraman and Gypsy Kingdom. Then Ming Dynasty from Shivery, Dulcify further back in the field with top wear. Then came Lawman, Runaway Kid, Salamander last and Quiet Snort second to last. Down the hill past the 1500 metre mark now and nothing really wanting to lead in the event and finally we saw top wear take over. A little over a length to Imposing who's now let Gypsy Kingdom up on the inside of him. Arbor Shane pulling hard three deep. Shivery in on the fence about fifth. Caraman outside it. Then Ming Dynasty a length to Dulcify. Wonder Lawman, Runaway Kid, Quiet Snort and Salamander. It's a crawling pace at the 1200. The leader top wear. Three parts to Imposing. Wonder Gypsy Kingdom. Wonder Caraman, Arbor Shane three deep he might let it go then a length and a half shivery from ming dynasty a half then to dulcify they've kicked away two lengths in front of lawman runaway kid and quiet snort and salamander last with 8.50 to go, top wear a half length to imposing one to Gypsy Kingdom, a neck to Arbor Shane. Caraman being niggled at from Shivery, getting up on the fence, and here's Thompson letting go on Dulcify. Then came Ming Dynasty, a length, Quiet Snort, Lawman, Runaway Kid. Imposing took the lead at the school, he moved a half length to top wear. One away is Arbor Shane and Dulcify the outside. Next in the field, Gypsy Kingdom. Oh, Dulcify let go as race to the lead. Shivery's getting off the fence, but Dulcify's going to have a big lead on it. At the 400, Dulcify shot away two and a half lengths imposing. Then Shivery under the whip from Arbor Shane and Gypsy Kingdom. But Dulcify well clear. Brent Thompson going for his fourth Cox plate. And he's got it. He's home, Dulcify. He's six lengths in front of Shivery and then Arbor Shane imposing, stopping. Dulcify's won by a minute. And that's the way he might win the Melbourne Cup. Dulcify by six lengths to Shivery. Battle for third. Arbor Shane or Lawman just in front of Salamander. They're followed then by Caraman Topwear. Behind those horses, Runaway Kid. Then Imposing Quiet Snort. Gypsy Kingdom, one of the last with Ming Dynasty last home. An electrifying performance in the Cox Plate by Dulcify. Well, you wouldn't believe that he'd win a race as easily as that here at Mooney Valley. Number eight, Dulcify, B. Thompson first, completes a riding double at Mooney Valley today, and the unbelievable record of four rides in the W.S. Cox Plate for four winners, and none easier than his victory today. Second placing to number one, Chivalry, ridden by R. Lang. And the judge has called for a photo for third. There are three of them in this. Arbor Shane, the outside. Lawman on the rails. And Salamander pushing up between them. But Dulcify, absolutely magnificent. And he's going to be a very short price favourite for the Melbourne Cup. There's no doubt about that. Third placing will depend on the bob of a head. Probably Arbor Shane.